When people are prescribed HCG, they receive something like this in the mail and they have questions about how to mix the medication so that they can administer the uh, doses. And you have a vial of bacteriostatic water, you have a vial of HEG, and you have a syringe that's used for withdrawing the water from the bacteriostatic water vial and adding to the HEG. First thing we do is take off the lids. And it's important to wipe the tops of the vials you use it, an alcohol wipe that you can get from any pharmacy. Now we open up the uh, packaging of the syringe. All right. You can see that it's labeled with uh, different numbers. You need to look at the uh, prescription label and see what it specifies. Often it will specify uh, three and a half mLs or five mLs and what you want to do is withdraw the plunger on the syringe to the mark and uh, make sure that the black marker is at the, the number. Now we remove the uh, cover of the needle. You insert the needle through the plastic cover and uh, inject the air and then actually often the syringe plunger starts to go down. You want to withdraw to that five mark, maybe a little bit more so that you can get rid of air bubbles and then you take it out. Here what you want to do is get those air bubbles to the top of the syringe there and we're on the five marker for the water. Now we put the needle through the lid of the HCG and slowly inject the bacteriostatic along the side of the vial. And then remove the needle. Gently swirl the powder with the water. You don't want to shake it. And now you're ready to prepare your dose. Now with this, you'll need an insulin needle and you want to withdraw the plunger to the dose that's specified on your prescription label. So if it says 40 units, then withdraw to the 40 units. Take the needle off and hold the bottle upside down. Put the needle in and inject the air into the water and then slowly withdraw the fluid to the 40 mark. Again, it's probably good just to withdraw a touch more so that if there are any air bubbles, you can in, uh, get rid of them. Then you withdraw the needle, flick it to get rid of air bubbles, and then recap. and you're ready to inject.